Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about body planes. Why do we need to learn about body planes? We need to learn about them, especially when it comes to imaging, such as x-ray, CT scans, MRI, or any other imaging. So they are imaginary lines that we use to help us find out um, the best way to see an organ or a structure. So we have three types of plane, three major types. So the first one is going to be the frontal or the coronal plane. And it looks something like this. It, it's basically referred to the sections passing through the skull. And this plane will separate the body into anterior portions and posterior portions, basically front and back. And we're gonna be seeing why or how that's important, especially if we're trying to see certain organs. So in this example, for example, um, in this example, we can see that we can see the brain, we can see almost all the major organs, but if we zoom in here, we can't really see the intestines, they remain hollow. So this might not be the best plane to look at intestinal organs. So the second one is going to be the sagittal plane. Sagittal means midsection. So there's, a, there's a, going to be a mid-sagittal section, which basically will pass through the midline of the body. Again, these are imaginary lines, and it helps us separate the body into right and left portions. All right, so that's really what a sagittal plane does. And we can see an example here. Now on this plane, we can definitely see the spinal cord a little bit better. We can also, we can not really see um, the lines and other structures or, or organs. And then under the sagittal plane, we're gonna have subsections such as the mid-sagittal plane, which would divide the body into equal right and left. Under the parasagittal section, we're also going to divide the body into right and left. However, we're going to miss the midline here and it's going to separate the body into unequal right and unequal left. The last part of the planes, the anatomical planes, will be the transverse or the horizontal planes. This is also known as a cross-sectional plane. And this is the, this green line located right here. And the job or the purpose of this plane is to separate the body into superior and inferior portions, otherwise known as top and bottom. So this is gonna be an example of what we're looking at here. And depending on the level that you are taking this imaging, um, this picture right here is taken at the level of the pelvis. So we are totally missing organs such as the heart, we're missing organs like the lungs, like the brain. And here is going to be an example of us taking different planes of the brain. Under the sagittal plane, we can see a, a lot of the sections of the body of the brain. And we can also see, um, you know, the brain stem, for example, located here, the cerebellum and all the other structures, the middle portion of the brain. However, when we go and take a look at the frontal or the coronal brain section, we're totally missing the brain stem. We can't really see the cerebellum also. Um, however, we'll definitely be able to see the ventricles a little bit better and, you know, the longitudinal fissure right here. And when we're taking the transverse plane, separating the top from the bottom, we can see obviously the ventricles a little bit better, but we are missing major structures, major um, structures such as the brainstem, such as the cerebellum. So the planes are very important because they help to save us time, especially when ordering imaging. So for example, if you're trying to order an imaging to see if something's wrong with the patient's brainstem, a frontal or coronal section plane would not be the best and definitely not a transverse or horizontal brain section. So that concludes our review for today. Thank you. Bye.